In this video, we will review how to configure documents for printing or saving. To configure a document to print, click the File tab, click Print, enter the number of copies, select a printer, set printer properties, if applicable, and then review all of these settings. Notice that you can print specific pages, Again, just make sure you click all of these different options and familiarize yourself with those. And if necessary, you can open Page Setup to further customize options. When you finish, click Print. To save documents in alternate file formats, click the File tab click export and you have two different options here your first option is to create a PDF or XPS document if that's what you want to do then you can click on create here otherwise you can click on change file type and then you can choose a file type here if they apply if not you can save as another file type Regardless of the option that you choose, you will then click Save As. And you can choose a type here, again, if it wasn't available on the previous screen. And then you click Save. To print a document section, return to the File tab, click Print. And then for pages, let's suppose you would like to print section 2. You would type in an S and then a 2. And then that will print only section 2. And then you would click print. If you need additional information about printing document sections and specific pages from those sections, you need to review this URL. To save a file to a remote location, click the File tab, click Save As, and then choose a remote location. On this particular machine, we only have SkyDrive available as a remote location. You may have to sign in if you haven't already signed in. You can choose a recent folder or you can click Browse. Then select a folder and then click the Save button. To protect a document with a password, click the File tab, click on Info, and then click Protect Document. Then you will select Encrypt with Password. Enter the password, and then you can click OK. Another option for setting a password would be to go to the File tab, Click on Save As, select a location, enter the file name, click the drop down arrow on Tools, choose General Options. Here you can set a password to open and or a password to modify the document. You can also set a read only option if desired. And then if you like, you can click on Protect Document and then click Save. Because you clicked Protect Document, you get additional restriction options here that you can set if necessary. To set Print Scaling, click the File tab click Print, and then choose an option in Settings. You can choose multiple pages per sheet, or you can scale the paper, or scale your document to a particular paper size. And you can see here that you have several different choices for that. When you finish, click Print. To maintain backward compatibility, you need to open a document 
that is already in compatibility mode. Then you will click on File, Save As, select a location, choose Word document as the type, and then click Maintain Compatibility with Previous Versions of Word, and then click Save. Another option would be to click the File tab, click Export, change file type and then Word 97 to 2003 document. Only do this if you know you want Word 97 to 2003 format and then you would click on Save As. Enter the file name and then click Save. Your best bet would probably be to do the first option. And this concludes the Configure Documents to Print or Save review.